फर्स्ट मे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू मधुपन अव्यक्त बाबदा ओम शांति रिवाइज थर्टींथ ऑफ डिसम्बर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी द मोरलिस्ट इज द फाउंडेशन ऑफ तपस्या इज अनलिमिटेड दिस इंटरेस्ट टुडे बाबदा इट्स इन ऑल द लविंग चिल्ड्रन offering flowers of love to baba bab dada it sing the shower of flowers of love from the hearts of all the children of this land and abroad whether you call it music or you call it a song baba is hearing the same music or song from the hearts of all the children it is the same song my baba the lamps of the pure hope of celebrating a meeting with baba are sparkling everywhere throughout the entire cycle no one except bab dada and the children are able to see this divine scene the flowers of this unique love are more valuable than a kohinoor diamond of this old world no one except you children can sing such a songs of heart no one else can celebrate such a deep mala all the children have emerged in front of bab dada not everyone can sit in this physical place but bab dada's heart throb is extremely large this is how he sees everyone who has emerged baba also hears everyone's love and remembrance and they are loving complaints which they consider to be their pride along with that baba is giving in return multi million fold greater love and remembrance to each child you children see with a right that you want to celebrate a meeting in the corporeal form the father has this desire and the children also have this desire nevertheless according to the time father brahma in his avyakt angelic form is doing service at a multi million faster speed than he did in his corporeal form and making the children the same as he is you have been given the experience of an avyakt meeting and his service in the avyakt form not only for one or two years but for many years and he had still given you that experience even though father brahma is avyakt why does he play a part in the corporeal to make you the same as he is father brahma comes from the subtle into the corporeal so what do children have to do and return become subtle from corporeal according to the time the service of the avyakt meeting through the subtle form is extremely essential this is why from time to time bab dada keeps giving you a signal to experience a subtle meeting therefore you are now celebrating the year of tapasya are you not bab dada is pleased that the zeal and enthusiasm of the majority of children are very good only a minority of children think that they have to do something according to the program one is to do something according to the program and the other is to do it with zeal and enthusiasm for your heart each of you should ask yourself in which category am i according to the circumstances of the present time according to the self progress according to the fast speed of service and according to giving a return of bab dada's love tapasya is absolutely essential it is easy to have love and everyone does have love bab knows this too however bab dada wishes to see that in return you became equal to bab dada this is what bab dada wants to see now and thus there are a few out of the few everyone has this desire but there is a difference between the number of those 
who have the desire and of those who put it into practice. The easy and constant foundation of tapasya is unlimited disinterest. To have unlimited disinterest means to leave the shores, means supports of all four sides. Why? Because you have made the shores your support. To become loving according to the time and then according to the Srimad and the signals you receive from the instrument souls to make your intellects detach from loving in a second. This doesn't happen. You don't become detached as quickly as you become loving. You are good at being loving, but when it comes to being detached, you think twice about it and think that you need courage. To become detached means to leave the support, and to leave the support means to have an attitude of unlimited disinterest. You know how to make assure your support and hold on to it. But what do you do when you have to leave it? You put a big question mark. You know how to be in charge of service very well. But as well as being in charge, you find it difficult to charge the battery of yourselves or of others. This is why it is extremely essential at the present time for you to adopt an attitude of unlimited disinterest through tapasya. The special basis and easy way to have success in tapasya is to make the lesson of one means eek form. It is difficult to write the figures two or three. It is very easy to write one. Tapasya means to belong to one. This is what Bhattata calls belonging to the one means ek nami. Tapasya means to stabilize, means ekagra, the mind and the intellect. Tapasya means to love, being in solitude, means ekant. Tapasya means to maintain a stable, means ekras stage. Tapasya means to stop yourself from wasting all the treasures you have attained, that is to move along with economy. So the lesson of one is now firm, is it not? Is the lesson of one difficult or easy? It is easy, but you won't use such a language, will you? You are very, very fortunate that you have been liberated from many types of labor. Time will make the people of the world ready and they will be ready out of compulsion according to the time. Whereas the father is preparing your children before that time and you are doing it out of love for the father. If you don't do it out of love or if you only do a little, what would happen then? You would have to do it out of compulsion. You will definitely have to have unlimited disinterest. However, you don't receive any fruit from compulsion. The instant fruit of love also accumulates as the future fruit. What will those who do it out of compulsion have to cross? To have to cross something is the same as having to be on a cross. Which do you prefer? You will do it out of love. Bab Dada will tell you at some point about the least of the supports. You are clever at knowing about it anyway. But Baba will revise it because Bab Dada can see the children's daily timetable whenever he chooses. He doesn't do the business of watching the timetable of each one throughout the day. You saw corporeal father Brahma where did his vision automatically fall? Whether it was a letter or a chart, or whether it was someone's behavior, even if it was an eight-page letter, on what did his vision fall, or where a direction had to be given, when, where it was necessary. Babdada observes everything, but he doesn't see. He recognizes everything, but he doesn't know. Whatever is not necessary, 
He neither sees nor knows. He observes very good games. Baba will tell you about that at some other time. Acha, it is easy to do tapasya and to maintain an attitude of unlimited disinterest. It is not. Is it difficult to leave the shores? However, you are the ones who want to become something. Each of you has claimed a right to attend meant every cycle and so you will definitely become that acha this year the children of the previous cycle those who are old from many cycles and who are new in the cycle have been given a chance you are happy that you have been given a chance are you not the majority is new and the teachers are old what will you teach us to you will imbibe an attitude of this interest will you not will you leave the shores or will you say at that time that you want to do it but ask how you can do it are you the ones who show others by doing it or are you the ones who speak in that way baba is pleased to see all the children who have come from everywhere and the corporeal form you have maintained courage and you always receive the father's help anyway therefore with courage constantly continue to experience the right to receive the father's help and continue to fly easily the father gives help but those who want it must take it the best of work gives but those who take it do so according to their capacity so you must not pick in those who are according to their own capacity but be those who are constantly all powerful then those who come late will take a number ahead do you understand claim your full right to all the powers acha to all the loving souls in all directions to the special souls who constantly give the return of the father's love to those who constantly remain stable in the stage of an image of tapasya to the souls who are close to the father to those who constantly put the qualities of the aim of becoming equal to the father into a practical form to all the children from this land and abroad love remembrance and namaste from the deepest depths of the hearts of baba the comforter of hearts the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father avikta bad dada meeting dadis you once with eight means ashta powers you are the special bill of deities means east and one of the eight are you not do you know what the sign is of those who are one of the eight they are the ones who use every power for every action in a way that is appropriate for the time and appropriate for the situation the eight powers make you a special bill of deity and also make you one of the eight you are those with eight powers and this is why they show the god this with eight arms they have eight special powers in fact there are many powers but the majority are included in the eight the special powers have to be used at the right time as is the time as is the situation so should be your stage this is known as being one of the eight and a special beloved deity so such a group is ready is it not how many are ready abroad you are also going to be part of the eight are you not acha santri dadi left her body at amritvela on 13th of december 
1990. It is good. Everyone definitely has to go. Are you ever ready? Or will you remember my centaur and what will happen about the students? You will not remember mine, mine. Will you? Everyone has to go. But each one's accounts are his own. No one can go without settling his accounts. This is why everyone gave leave with happiness. You all liked it, do you not? It is good to go like that. So you must become ever ready. Acha, Bab Dada, meeting groups. First one, Delhi and Punjab are both original places of service. The places of establishment means of the beginning are always seen and remembered with that importance. Just as they are the original places and sobers, in the same way are you the original jewels in your stage along with the place. The stage is also praised. Original jewels means those who are first in putting every elevated direction into their lives, not just those who listen and relate it to others, but those who also actually do it. Because there are many who simply listen to something and relate it to others. But only a handful out of multi-millions who actually do it. So, do you have the intoxication that you are the handful out of multi-millions? The spiritual intoxication frees you from the many types of intoxication of Maya. The spiritual intoxication is a means of safety. Any intoxication of Maya, of wearing means good clothes, of eating or saying cannot attract you. Do you stay in such intoxication or does Maya attract you a little? You have now become sensible. Have you not? You now also understand about Maya. Those who are sensible are never deceived. If those who are sensible are deceived, what would everyone say to such a person? That you are sensible and yet you were deceived. To be deceived means to invoke sorrow. When you are deceived, you receive sorrow from that. Do you not? Would anyone want to take sorrow? This is why you are always the original jewels. That is, you are those who are first and putting every elevated directions into your lives. Are you like that? Or are you waiting to see if others do it and only then would you do it? They are not doing this. So how can I do it? Be I first in doing this. It should not be, I will change when others change. I will change when this one changes. No, those who do something will receive the reward of it. How much will you receive? Multi-million fold in return for one. So there is pleasure in doing this. Is there not? Do one fold and receive multi-million fold. In this, there is attainment and nothing but attainment. Therefore, became I first in putting Srimad into the practical form. Do not be I first in being influenced by Maya, but be I first in this effort, for only then will you experience success at every step. Success is guaranteed. It is just that you change your path a little and then you changing it. Your destination became distant and it takes you time. If someone goes on to a wrong path, the destination would become distant, would it not? So do not do that. Your destination is just ahead of you and success is guaranteed. When you have to labor a little, the scale on the side of love becomes a little lighter. If there is love, you would never have to labor 
because the father would help you with his many arms. He will make the task successful with his arm in a second. You will then constantly continue to fly in your efforts. Those from Punjab, are you flying or are you afraid? Have you become very experienced? None of you are going to be afraid. What will happen? How will it happen? No. You are those who gave them the donation of peace. Whoever comes to you should go back with peace. They should not go away empty-handed. Even if you don't give them knowledge, the vibrations of peace will make them peaceful. Acha. Second group, all the elevated souls who have come from everywhere are Brahmins. You are not those from Rajasthan or Maharashtra or from Madhya Pradesh, etc. All of you are one. At this time, all of you are residents of Madhavan. The original residence of Brahmins is Madhavan. You have gone into different areas to do service. If you just sat in one place, how would all the other places everywhere be served? This is why you have gone to the different places to do service, whether you are a businessman or a government servant or someone working in a factory, your original occupation is a server. Mothers too are on godly service while living at home. Whether someone listens to knowledge or not, they can be transformed with the vibrations of good wishes and pure feelings. Service done through words is not the only service done. To have good wishes is also to do service. So you know how to do both types of service, do you not? Even if someone insults you, you mustn't stop having good wishes and pure feelings. It is the duty of Brahmins always to give something or other. To have good wishes and pure feelings is also to give teachings. Not everyone will change through words. No matter what someone is like, Definitely give him a handful of something, even if he is a real Brahmin. Some mothers say our relatives are a strong Brahmin. They are never going to change. Give such souls to a handful of good wishes and pure feelings from your treasure store. When some of them insults you, what do they say? These Brahma Kumaris, etc. So at least they remember Father Brahma. Even when they are insulting you, they are remembering Brahma. They at least mention the Father's name, whether they know him or not. You will at least give them a handful. Do you give such souls a handful of something? Or do you leave alone those who don't listen? You mustn't leave them alone because otherwise, they will pull your ears louder and complain. We were senseless. Why did you not give us something? So, they would pull your ears. Would they not? Whether others take or do not take. You just continue to give. Every day, that they give so many treasures to your children. Some take them fully and others take them according to their capacity. Does Bab Dada then ever say, I am not going to give. Why are you not taking? It is the duty of Brahmins to give. You are the one children of the best ever, are you not? Okay, if you give them something when they ask, that then makes them into those who take. Those who take can never be the children of the best ever. They can never become deities. You are going to become deities. Are you not? Is your deity costume ready? Or is it being swayed or washed now? Or is it just left to be ironed? Your deity costume should be visible in front of you. Today, an angel and tomorrow, a deity. 
how many times have you become a deity so always remember you are a child of the bestower and are going to become a deity children of the bestower do not first take and then give i should receive regard i will give regard when i first receive it it should not be like that you are always the children of the bestower those who constantly give you constantly have such intoxication do you not or it is sometimes less and sometimes more have you not yet bid farewell to maya do not bid farewell slowly you don't have that much time firstly you have come late and then if you make effort slowly you won't reach your destination you had faith you became intoxicated and you begin to fly it is now the time for the flying stage flying it's fast is it not you are lucky that you have come at the time of flying so always experience your selves to be very fortunate you cannot receive such fortune throughout the whole cycle so became the children of the bestower do not even have the thought of taking give me money give me clothes give me food the children of bestower receive everything automatically those who ask for something do not receive it become a bestower and you will automatically continue to receive acha blessing may you have accurate remembrance and become a karma yogi full of all powers and always keep your weapons with you explanation accurate remembrance means to remain constantly full of all powers when a situation as an enemy comes in front of you and your weapons are not used you would then not be said to be someone who has your weapons when you have remembrance in every actions you will have success just as you cannot stay without doing anything for even a second in the same way you cannot perform any actions without having yoga so be a karma yogi and have your weapons use your powers at the appropriate time with your orders and you will then be said to be an accurate yogi slogan those whose thoughts and actions are great are master almighty authorities om shanti 